With the new year comes new iPads with some pretty significant changes, I would say. And today I wanna to talk about three upcoming models that we might see as early as this March. The first model in question is the iPad 9th Gen. This is the budget iPad and it's rumored to have the iPad Air 3's chassis, which is a big win for consumers because Apple's finally gonna get rid of that thicker, I would say uglier iPad Air design that we've seen for the past seven years with the air gap and all that. So it's gonna be thinner and lighter. It's also gonna have a laminated display once again. Although we're still unsure as to how big the display will be, it could be 10.2 inches, it could be 10.5 inches. Hopefully it'll have true tone. And then as for like the processor, I'm figuring that Apple will carry over the A12 into this from the eighth gen, just like they did with the A10 from the sixth to the seventh gen, even though there was a slight design change there as well. But uh, yeah, exciting stuff here. I'm happy that people can, you know, not fork out an arm and a leg to get a thin and light iPad experience this year on the budget end. The second model in question is iPad mini, which is rumored to have an 8.4 inch display without changing its form factor that much. And this indicates that it will now have a full screen home buttonless design, sort of similar to the iPad Air 4 and the iPad Pro before it. I'm super excited. I love this device. I love how small it is. And I've been waiting for it to have a facelift. So I can't wait to use it more once it looks better. It could tout the Apple Pencil. I hope that it might, but it probably won't. Um, however, I think it will get the iPad Air 4 treatment. It might get USB Type-C. It'll probably get a stereo speaker setup. It's definitely getting that better display once again. Probably not 120 hertz, just like the Air 4. And it might also get the A14. I have a feeling that they'll do the same thing like they did with the iPad Mini and the iPad Air from 2019. The iPad Mini got the A12 and so did the iPad Air 3. And finally, the third model in question, or models rather, are the iPad Pros, the 11 inch and the 12.9 inch. I've heard recently that the iPad Pro 12.9 inch might actually be getting a bit thicker to accommodate a better, higher contrast mini LED display. The camera bump is also reportedly gonna get smaller, so that's great. But what I'm most excited about is the A14X processor that will be in here. I talked about this in a previous rumor video. I'm hoping it will be similar in performance to the M1 chip found in the MacBook Air and the MacBook Pro because this will make this an even better tool for 4K editing and the like. But besides significant updates to the internals and the display and also 5G connectivity, this device shouldn't look too much different. I mean, the iPad Pro design has worked out so far pretty well and Apple usually has like a three year cycle with designs anyway, but uh, yeah. That about wraps up this video here. I hope it was informative. I cannot wait to see what Apple has in store in the next few months here. I'd appreciate it if you leave a like on this video, comment if you have any questions, suggestions, or opinions, and of course, subscribe for more content like this. And as always, I'm Noah, and I will catch you all in the next one.